How to Draw Cartoons with John Mark. Today's lesson, we're going to do this cute little cartoon man holding a cane. All right, let's begin today's lesson. I'll be using my blue pencil followed by my mechanical pencil. Note, I'm going to be working with my style. You do not have to match it whatsoever. So what I'm doing here is simply creating the whole basic structure of the body. I have the head and I'm working on the arms right now. Just simply just creating the form and thereafter I'll take more detail to follow with my traditional pencil. Again, use your creativity and your own imagination and maybe even your own style. So don't worry if you're not copying mine 100%. It's just so that you can see how I practice and then how you can practice sketching better. All right, so here is the far arm here on the left, and I'm going to be having that little hand on the staff. So what you can do is many different ways to start. I have the hand I just placed, and I'm just randomly creating that little staff shape there and going all the way straight down to the bottom. And feel free to explore your creativity. Once again, the background. Where is he actually? Is he in a desert or is he in a play on some type of school right now? Or is he just walking casualty in an old town? Whatever you do, use your imagination for sure. Now, when you can see here is it's getting very light and sometimes I might get a little bit heavier with the, the pencil, but most of all, it's very, very light. So when I come back with my a mechanical pencil or the traditional pencil, I can easily take more uh, detail there. As you can see the head there, I have the eyebrows and the eyes there. Note also, when working on some of these sketching, you may want to have another piece of paper next to you when you're thinking out how should the eyes or face or maybe the hand looks. Sketch on something else first before sketching even where you're working on the project. So you kind of flush out your thoughts and your ideas and making sure it looks well. So what you're really not doing too much is erasing. And you can just practice that way more, like a page on all different types of canes, a page on how all different hands should look like, or maybe face, or even the clothing. And then come back to the actual drawing and then fine tune it at that moment as well. So here we go, it's just about done. I have simple, the face done and I'm ready to use my mechanical pencil. And it's an actually an HB pencil currently right now, and you'll see I'm going a little bit slower, and definitely I'm putting a lot more pressure on my HB pencil versus when I normally have done uh, starting off with, because when I start off sometimes with the mechanical pencil, I'll go very lightly. But since I have the blue pencil, it's already there for me. So you can see that the texture and the tone, you can see the eyes, very simple, the eyebrows there, the side of his face, very, very angular type of a body and the head there. Okay, the ear, simple there, his little hair on the side, his little mustache there, making it a little long, and there we go. And rotating it to the other side, there we go. That's looking good, I like that. Simple, okay, his little cheek. Get the ear on the other side, a little shadowing, and a little mustache there. Yeah, let's add some tone to that nose right there, and a little uh, mustache, a little lip underneath there. That's looking good. And as you can see, I'm basically following what I did with my blue line. But sometimes you may switch and totally uh, change it. Not a problem. And just, as you can see here, I didn't have that little uh, hair in the beard in blue, and I just randomly place it in there. All right, the little hair spiking it up on the top, making him like he's like a little bald on the top, little wrinkles in his face. All right, and then following up that one, there we go with his cheek there, more on the side, his arm all the way down. Okay, the arm on the other side there. You can see long sleeves and very, very uh, um, flowing, should I say, his fingers here. This is his thumb here and his finger and his other, that's his index finger right here, pointing straight out and his other fingers and his palm of his hand there, back of his arm there. And then you'll see the inside part of the sleeve there. All right. 
and continuing with the staff. But uh, so when you're thinking of the staff with the wood, be creative and very uh, whimsical, should I say, when you're playing around with some of the things like that. Uh, what type of uh, um, wood is it? Does it have some branches and like some leaves growing off of it? Like right now, that's looking cute. Maybe it has a bird on it standing on top of it. And just go straight down randomly there, going right there. Let's get some wood tone there, some uh, lines in there to indicate where the um, the veins of the, the actually wood is there. There we go. Just shading in that other part there. Okay, that's looking good. I like that. Finishing up with his body there right now, the base of his uh, little garment there. But as you notice, I didn't put any feet or any shoes that he's wearing, but you can feel free to change that. You can add that a little, little like a little carrying bag that he has underneath him. So that he's working there. All right, a little shade that in there. You know, let's create up like a pattern or a texture or a design on there. All right, let's look at uh, his hand there for a second. Has three fingers and other finger walking, working all the way around. Okay, okay, that's looking good. All right, simple, very uh, geometrically, but in a sense, this is just a sketch, nothing more than a simple thought. And if I like this, I could take it a little bit better and definitely fine tune it a lot more. Let me just shade in some of the areas right there, like if the shading for his uh, little beard going down the side there, shading underneath the side of his arm there, and inside there, it's definitely a little bit darker. The pattern filling that in, a little shading, that's looking good, I like that. Yep, yep, all right. Get that little hair on the other side, I like that better now. Okay, so get some texture in the background, just give him some uh, ground floor and some grass here and there, or maybe some stones or shadows, or even a little lizard you can feel free to put on there. All right, so it's looking good. How much more? Let's just go around fine tuning it. You know, I think it looks good. So let's sign, date, share with your family and friends as always. Thanks for watching this lesson and have a great day.